we now look at the CAS example from the HP Prime example page. It shows us that we need to input this variable to our calculator in the CAS area. So we'll go over to our calculator, we'll press sh shift, and then we'll press um, escape to get clear the calculator. Then we'll put the letter uh, P in our calculator. Then we use the colon, alpha, colon, shift, equals, x to the fourth, we'll hit the x up here, we'll raise it to the fourth power, we'll get out of the fourth power, we'll subtract, we'll do x raised to the third power, exit the power, minus 7 x squared put the 2 in get out of the power plus 13 x subtract 6 The um, calculator uses computer technology to show that we have x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 6 stored into the value p. Let's look at another way to, to do this. We'll copy this down to our edit area. We'll now hit the store button, which is blue, and we'll put this into the letter um, Q. So we'll hit alpha and then we'll hit Q and we'll press enter. We notice that when we do it this way, it still writes it back in the, this technology. Starting with the October um, firmware, there is a third way to do this. So if we go to the letter S, and then just hit an equal sign, and copy this down to our calculator. Press enter. And we have it stored P colon equal. This where we copied first and stored it under Q, but it rewrote it in the same form as the P form and the S form we where we just wrote it with an equal sign. Now we go to our var key look under all and we see we have our programs from before from finite math plus we have p q and s if we escape out of this go to our two program we see uh, that we just have our programs from our um, finite math escape out of these two Let's add one more thing, the function r of x. So we're going to hit alpha and then r, then we're going to hit parentheses, then we're going to hit x, then we're going to move out of here. We're going to set a colon equal again. So we're going to hit our colon and then we're going to hit our equal sign. Then we're going to go up here. We're going to copy this over and we're going to place a semicolon at the end and then we're going to press enter. We see that it wrote it in function notation which is slightly different than the function notation we see in a math class. We see if we hit the var key and hit the program button that we have added the program r which is actually the math function R of X. If we select uh, entry number seven and hit our parentheses and put in a number like uh, two and press enter, we see the value is zero. If we edit this, uh, copy it over, move over inside of here, put another number in here, delete this number, put number six, 
press enter, see the value is 900. If we go to our mem button, wrap around backwards to gas variable, press enter, we see we have our functions for math of finance, but we also have P, Q, R, S, and T. So it labels P, Q, S as their function, but that's not the math function. The math function is R. We'll escape out of here. The real advantage to this is this is how we can, in the immediate mode, enter a program into our calculator without using the program button. The real advantage of this is that it also works in the free light version. So the free light version, you can use as variables in the immediate mode to add um, functions to our calculator as we did with finite math. The next thing is we want to look at how our calculator functions under the toolbox. So we'll go over here and take a look at the uh, toolbox windows. We'll go over to our calculator and on our calculator, we'll clear the history area. The first thing we want to do is we want to then press the toolbox command. And then we want to press the one option here for algebra. And we end up with the window that we have over here. We'll escape out of the flyout and escape out of the CAS menu. Next, we'll want to look at our setting menu. So we'll hit um, the shift key and setting. And we come up with our menu uh, here for settings. If we move down to page two, we see our menu that we have over here. Except that this menu does not have this box checked. So we'll go over here and uncheck that particular box uh, on our calculator. Okay, then we'll escape out of here. We'll again click on our toolbox. We see that we have the CAS menu. We press the number one. And we now see that we have the screen that's shown over here. What happened was when we uncheck the menu display, it displays the actual names where when we have it checked, it displays um, sentences or pieces of information that tell us what's going on. If we hit escape again, and then we hit number six for polynomials, we end up with the menu that we have over here. Returning to the web page, we're going to want to work on our last uh, set of collages on this page. So we're going to click on the upper left and the upper left comes up with P and Q. We're going to go back over to our calculator, hit the escape key to get rid of fly out, hit the escape key to get rid of this value. We want to check what values are in our calculator. Earlier we put P in and we also put Q to be the same. So let's take a quick look at, at Q. So we'll hit alpha and Q and Q has in it right now the same thing that P has in it. So let's go to the toolbox and let's use the catalog. We have the catalog um, set up for backup. We're going to type um, purge into the search and it comes up with uh, the perch in there. We're going to select purge. We're going to type um, the letter Q into our uh, command line. So we're going to hit uh, alpha and Q in our command line, and then we're going to press enter. And now we are um, have erased Q just to double check to make sure this is true. We're going to hit alpha and Q and press enter we see that Q has been cleared out. Let's make sure that we have variable P in our calculator. So we'll press alpha and P and then press enter. And we see that we have P in our calculator. We will now enter variable Q. So we'll press alpha and get the letter Q. We will use the colon equal. So we will hit alpha colon and then shift equal we want x cubed so we'll hit x 
we'll raise it to the third power. We'll exit add point mode. We'll put minus 5x squared, subtract 5x, hit the square, plus 8x, add 8x, subtract 4. Press enter. So now we have Q into our calculator and P into our calculator. We want to factor P and factor Q. So we'll go to our toolbox. We'll go to our CAS menu. We'll go to algebra, which is one. We'll hit option four, which is factor. We'll put in the letter P, alpha, P, and press enter and get our answer for that part. We'll want to factor Q. Um, we can just go up to here and we can copy it down. We can go inside here and we can backspace. We can hit alpha and the letter Q and press enter. And we have factored um, the letter Q. The next one we look at is DIVIS of P. So we go to our toolbox, we go to algebra, we go to polynomial six, and we see that we have divisors. This uh, is set so that it gives us the explanation, not the operator. So we pick divisors, it comes with D V I S, we put in the letter P, and we press enter, and we end up with the divisors, okay, of P. The next thing we look at is the um, GCD, okay, of ones. So we go to GCD. Again, we go to our toolbox. We go to polynomials. We go to option five. We're looking for the GCD of P and Q. So we put in P, comma, Q and press enter and we end up with the GCD of P and Q being X squared minus 3X plus 2. When we look at um, LCM we can go to the toolbox polynomial LCM and we again put in the letters P and Q P and the letter Q is in the alpha key, press enter, and we end up with the lowest, the least common multiple of this is these two right here. We want to expand this out, so we want to use the expand uh, operation. We go to our toolbox, we pick algebra. Algebra has the expand command number three. We go up here and copy this into our expand command and press enter and end up with the answer for expand to be um, x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 27x squared minus 32x plus 12. To complete our window, we notice the DIVS has three dots where the DIVS over here is separated into a real long part that covers both um, parts. So we'll go up in our particular calculator and highlight this and press enter. And then we can see the complete answer here um, in the calculator. If we press enter again, it's going to show this with the three dots. So if we want to see the complete answer, we will have to transfer our answer and then scroll through it in the command editor. There is one more thing. This window here shows the different variables that are used. They show us clearing the um, window right now. Actually, there's no need to clear the window. So we'll just press the var key and we'll press the all key. And when we look at it, we will see that we have um, our P, Q. We did not clear out R, so it's also in there. 
there are multiple ones in here so we will scroll down or we will use a reverse scroll so that we can see all the different ones that are in our calculator that ends our lesson on BAS variables